Hello friends, this is Kyle from Genki Gamers and in the games I have for you today, I'm going to be using the Mark V Enforcer with a cannon, sniper, and flare gun. I've really been enjoying this combination lately because it has good, consistent damage. You can fight from a safe distance by switching between the cannon and sniper while saving the flare gun for close encounters. Also, having a Tesla bolt lets you stall for time while you let your weapons get off cooldown. This plays very well into the Enforcer's playstyle because you will typically want to fight from a safe distance away from your opponents, but will also need the strength to take enemies out in close range fights. A good variation of this build would be to replace the Sniper with a Blast Cannon equipped with fire damage perks. If you go with the Blast Cannon route, you will adopt a much more aggressive playstyle of doing what you can to get closer to your enemies. If your Enforcer isn't at Mark 5 yet, Start with the Cannon, Sniper, Overboost, and Turbo. As with any build, this loadout does have drawbacks. The biggest drawback is that this build is very weak on maps with many obstacles that block linear skill shots. In maps that favor mortars and torpedoes, you really need to be smart about your positioning to find a clear line of sight. Another weakness of this build is the lack of burst damage. Although a sniper can critically strike for a bit of burst, this build is generally meant for dealing consistent damage over time instead of large chunks of damage. You often end up dealing more damage with this type of build, but the lack of burst can make it difficult to take out teams with a good fixer. Now, let's get into the gameplay. I started this match by moving forward fast enough that my teammates aren't afraid to move forward, but not so far ahead that I'm in any danger of getting caught out. As always, keep your eyes open for any stray torpedoes flying your way. As the speeder moves forward, we can start to see where on the map our opponents are. At this point, I can already tell their shooter is out of position, so I'm going to focus him down first. You can see how we don't do incredible amounts of damage per hit, but we have consistent damage to get multiple hits on our target. Here, I've made the call to activate my overboost to aggressively chase down this kill. It's a bit of a risky play, but leaving the shooter alive with even 100 health can mean they'll be back later with full health thanks to their fixer. Always take advantage of any terrain that can be used for protection, especially when your weapons are still on cooldown. At this point, I'm already thinking that I'm going to go down because I can't take on this full health defender at close range. Instead, I switch focus to deal as much damage to the fixer as possible. With the fixer down, I'm trying my best to use his sunken ship to block any incoming damage from the defender so that my teammates can take him out. And that about does it for this round. They honestly played way too aggressively to go after me, but I guess they felt pressured to make a move once their first teammate went down. In the next game, we're starting on the other side of the same map. We've got our defender taking the lead, which is exactly how we want it. I want to get in range to deal some damage, but I'm having trouble finding a clear shot. Now I'm going to pause this replay to show you a closer look at the minimap. You can see their team has separated into a group of 2 and 3, which is great for us as an enforcer because our ship is much better in small skirmishes than in large team fights. I'm going to stick behind my defender while using my cannon and sniper to whittle down the enemies. I would much rather focus down the shooter with less health, but I didn't call it out and I can see my defender switching targets to the other shooter, so I'm going to go after the same opponent. You always want to focus the same target as your teammates if possible. I'm getting a good amount of damage out on that shooter, but I can tell my defender is getting shot down, so I'm going to have to let the other guy go. In hindsight, I probably should have focused on this shooter sooner, as I had initially intended to, because I may have been able to save my teammate. With that said, he did his job of soaking up damage, so it looks like everything will work out alright. If you're in a close range fight like this, with a way of blocking your shots, you can fire your Tesla bolt to stun your opponent and get up close for a guaranteed hit. All that's left is for us to take out these last enemies and take the win. That's all for today. Let me know what you think of this style of video. I'm always looking for new ways to create better videos, so I really rely on your feedback to improve. I'll have more tutorials and guides coming out soon, so subscribe for more Battle Bay videos. Bye friends!